guys welcome to my channel my name is elena and today we'll be making this amazing and beautiful box out of empty toilet paper roll that my son took charge of collecting it for me i hope not like that but if you would like to know how to make this please continue watching all right, so we will take an old CD and a cardboard. Uh, this is a lid from an Amazon package <laughs> that I received. So I just cut pieces of the cardboard out of there. And <laughs> I am collecting all the cardboard now. So you outline two circles. And then, of course, you use your scissors to cut them out. And what I did for it to be a little bit thicker, I glued them one on top of each other. Next, what I did, I got some uh, burlap fabric. You can use anything you like, but I, I still have that gigantic 100 yard roll and I love using it. It's so easy to work with. So I used some hot glue and just placed it right on top. And I did the same thing to the opposite side. And here's my empty toilet paper rolls. We will need 16 for this project. So I used the ruler to kind of, you know, squish the sides out and then I fold it like the three ways like inside and on top of it and after that was done I used my hot glue to secure one lid and then I used a little bit uh, more of hot glue to secure the lid on top of it and it worked out pretty well it the hot glue holds it nothing came apart so you do this process to all 16 of your toilet paper empty toilet paper rolls when we're done with that, I start placing my little tubes, I guess that's what you'll call it, around my circle that I made it out of the cardboard and burlap. And I was kind of going, you know, symmetrical, but then I got tired of it. So you don't have to follow this pattern. Just make sure when you glue them to the circle, you leave a little bit of space just like that. You see, I have a little bit of space in between because we will be weaving our jute. And I use the regular jute from the Dollar Tree. They are two ply, I think the size of it. And what I did, I bleached my jute and a lot of you asked, Ask me to let you know uh, and show you how to how, how I bleach my jute so I have done it I made a blog post on my website and description to my website uh, well the description the link to my website will be in the description below and right here on the screen so there is a detailed instructions how to bleach the Dollar Tree jute which is an amazing I do that all the time so in the pattern that I did, as you could tell, it was the white and the brown alternated and you go all the way to the top. When you get to the top, you secure your ends of the jute. You cut it out, obviously, <laughs> with the hot glue. Okay, now I decided to make a little bit something different and I wanted the thicker jute to go around the bottom of my box. So I cut the thicker one that um, I'm pretty sure I got it from Walmart and I will link it in the description below for you if you're looking for, for that type of jute. But anyway, it's kind of thick and you are just doing it like a regular braid. I secure it with Dollar Tree clip and I was braiding until I got the length that I need. Now we're going to apply it to the bottom of a new basket or a box, whatever you want to call it. I love, I love how it's already looking pretty cool. So you use the hot glue and secure it to the bottom. Now we're going to make another tree braided jute and what I will be doing, I will wrap my fingers with three strings, which is two brown and one white, and I will pull like a slip knot using my crochet tool. And you will continue doing it, but make sure you grab all three and you pull it through this uh, loop that you created at the beginning and you continue to make like a chain link I measured around the box uh, the length that I needed and then I stopped And 
And now we're gonna add it to the bottom of our basket as well. So, and we'll kind of repeat the process to the top, but not all the way. So we'll use our thick jute cord and we'll wrap it all the way around. And then I got my thinner one and I did um, the top one just to cover those um, empty toilet paper rolls that are still peeking through, as you can tell. And then I went and one more row just inside a box. So just in case where some jute strings didn't cover, so you cannot see anything peeking through. That's what I did here. Now we are done with our bottom and we will be creating a lid for it. So I cut another cardboard circle, uh, same size as our uh, DVD disc or CD disc and I measured about half an inch and I will make it a little bit smaller and then I'll cut another one and I'll make a half an inch bigger. Kind of repeat the same process as I did to the bottom one, which I cut them out and attached them with my hot glue to my piece of burlap fabric, which is both circles. I did separately. See, this is the bigger one. And what I did, um, I did both sides on the bigger one and the smaller one, I just did one side. So when the bigger circle was done, I decided to cover like the sides so you don't see all that cardboard with my uh, braided jute that I have. Um, I went all the way around the circle, attaching that using my hot glue. And then after that was done, I made kind of wanted to a little something different. So I used uh, a little thinner cord that I have and I attached it to the top, kind of give it a different dimension of my uh, lid that it kind of st stand out and be a little different. So now we're done with that and see how the little ones are ready as well. And I just glued them together. Now I measured it to my box. It fits perfectly. I am happy with it. <laughs> now I decide to add some more of my three braided jute to the top because I wanted to match. So since I did it at the bottom, I thought, well, you know, I might as well do it to the top. When I was done with that, I made a little hook from the same braided jute. Um, so you can kind of like open and close. Um, you don't have to do it, but I like to pull on things. So <laughs> I added to the top of my uh, lid and left it alone. Now I cut out a kind of shape of a petal. <laughs> That's what it looks like to me. Uh, out of my just a regular paper and then I measure to the burlap and you will need six of those. So when you cut them out, you'll use your hot glue and your white bleached uh, jute rope, kind of one circle. And then you make a smaller one with the hot glue inside and you will attach your jute one um, over there as well. So you will repeat this process to all your six petals step is super fun. It is time to decorate our lid, which we will be attaching our petals in, a, in like a circles. And as you will see, I'll show you that I just used the hot glue and I just glued them in a circle right beside each other all the way around the box. Then when that was over, I went and pulled some of my coffee beans because I love the smell of coffee. If you don't, you can use some pearls or some beads, whatever you have on hand. And what I did, I outlined my uh, holder and then I put a little bean, coffee bean inside each petal. So after that was done, I was happy how the lid looked. Okay, the next step you could skip, but I like to use my uh, lighter to go around my jute box and kind of burn off um, the excess hair, the jute hair that's sticking out. So you don't have to do it, but uh, I, I like it. 
And of course, as always, I can't just leave it alone. So when I looked at my box, it was kind of, it was beautiful, but I wanted to do something else. So I went back to my coffee beans and on each of those strips on the white one, I attached one bean all the way around, kind of on the same level. And now we are done. Well, that was all for today. If you're one of my new people, please don't forget to click subscribe so you don't miss any videos from me and give this video a like. But for now, I love you all very much. Be safe out there and I will see you in my next video real soon. Bye.